Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use a background image to make a nice looking pool quote. Um, I'll explain what that is. So, I was looking at this uh, online article here over at tootsplus.com Introduction to Color Theory for Web Designers, and they had an example of a really nice pool quote that's P U L L quote. And basically, it's a technique used to kind of attract the attention of the reader, gives them some insight into a portion of the article, and stuff like that pulls your attention in basically and you'll see this on a lot of magazine articles and you'll see it on a lot of online articles as well so it's very popular in blogs and I thought we could do this pretty neat and be an opportunity to show you just you know the block quote tag but also a nice way to use multiple background images and stuff like that so thought that was kinda neat and this is kinda the inspiration here so what I did first to ignore that page for a moment I went over to Microsoft Word and I threw together some quotes here I was just you know trying different fonts see what I liked here and I kinda like these and what I have here is I have an opening quote closing quote opening quote opening quote closing quote and I wanted to do it twice because I want the pair in the middle I want the closing quote on the left and the opening quote on the right there's a number of ways you could do this you could actually make images out of each one but I didn't want to have two images I just wanted to have one image that I could use in two different ways so anyway I wanted my closing quote on the left and my opening quote on the right so once I'm satisfied with that and of course you could change color as easily as changing font color I'll just use my screen capture uh, image tool here and I'll just grab that and you could be much more precise you could even get nice even numbers and stuff like that but I'll just eyeball it there and I'm gonna go ahead and save this let's see um, let me get a save as dialog box so I can put this and this is off to the other side but it's okay I'll just stick it right in here I'm saving it as a little PNG image which is fine and I'll just call it uh, quote marks that'll work and I'll hit save this is where my web page is going to be saved also and of course you could take this and you know do this in an image editor you can make the background transparent but I'll, I'll keep it simple here alright so I've got my quote saved as quote marks PNG and now I've got a web page started up now there's nothing in the body yet so it's a blank web page and I can see that I've just got a title and yeah, so some basic styles I do have a reset rule and I've got a body tag let's see font weight let me make that size a little bit smaller there we'll just do 90 percent for the font size and let's change the color of my text I don't want to do white on white so I will do a, a dark gray for the text okay and I think that's pretty good for now I will make let's see let me scroll down a bit so you can see this a little bit easier and just for demo purposes let's go ahead and put in an article there we go and I'm gonna take a quick moment to put in some lorem ipsum text so make this a little bit easier so I can go to my plugins in notepad plus plus tool bucket and I will uh, generate some lorem ipsum text it's pretty good let me do a closing paragraph another paragraph actually I'll just do a little copy paste action here now and paste excellent okay and let me just do a little bit of basic styling here for my paragraphs fifteen pixels and I think that will be fine so let's see how our page is looking at the moment okay got some basic text up there let me add a little bit of padding let's keep that there and 20 pixels on the body. Let's try that. Okay, I think that's going to work for us. So now I want to mix in a block quote in here. And if you haven't seen a block quote before, basically it will indent automatically. So it does have some built in formatting. So I could take another paragraph. I'll pop it right up here at the top so I just did a duplicate of that and I'll make this one a little bit shorter 
and instead of paragraph tags, I'll use block quote tags. Now normally, I, by the way, I should preface this, I do have a reset rule, so you're probably really not going to notice anything dramatic about this. So when I jump back over here and refresh, you're just going to see there's a smaller paragraph up there that has some different formatting. But this is what I want to do with my styles. I want to put in some special formatting so that whenever I use block quote, it really looks like one of these pull quotes um, that you see on the online articles and stuff. So now that I've got this, I can start to manipulate it with my CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and take my block quote element. It's a standard type selector, by the way, just referring to a tag. And I'm going to do a few things to it. I will go ahead and set the width to about uh, 270 pixels. We, we can play around with these numbers. I'm not going to set the height, though, because I don't always know how, you know, how many lines of text there might be. But I will set the width. I'll go ahead and do a float to the right. And let's see, I'll put a little border on here. Two picks solid and um, black. And how about a little margin? 10 pixels and a little bit of padding of 10 pixels. And let's see how this is looking for us. There we go. So this is my block quote over here. And you actually might be kind of satisfied. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's kind of doing what I want. And of course, we could also do a uh, text align center. Get that text centered if you like that kind of look. Okay, so that's coming along relatively nicely. Let me do a couple things. Font size 140% and color 090. All right, nice green text over there. So I would like to put in my quote symbols. And I kind of envision the opening quote being up in that top left corner, lower quote being in the bottom right corner. So I think in order to help accommodate that, I'm going to go to my padding. And I've got padding on the top and the bottom of 10 pixels. I think I'll do left and right 25 pixels. So there's a little bit more space, and I might end up going a little bit more than that. And we can always play with these numbers, too, as necessary. Okay, so I want to get those images in there. So now I need to put in the background image. So I'm going to go ahead and do background image, URL, quote marks, I think I used an S, dot PNG. Let's just do a quick test. Sure enough, that was the right file. Okay, quote marks.png. But here's the trick. And this is going to look a little weird at first, but I want to put this background image in twice. If I can spell the words URL, quote marks.png. So I'm using two background images, the same image and two occurrences. Now I'm going to do background repeat. No repeat, or though. No repeat. All right, I think we're good anyway. Okay, so I think we're still doing fine. Now I'm going to do background position. This is going to be the critical step right here. So there's two position coordinates that we need, the X and the Y. And since I have two images, I need two sets of X, Y. The first one, I want it to be, I'm just going to start it off in the top left corner. So I'm going to do top, it's going to be, um, actually my X, the horizontal. I will do 0% for that. And for the Y, I'm going to do another 0%. I'm going to modify these numbers in just a second. And for the second background image, I'm going to do 100% and 100%. Go ahead and save that, browser refresh. And that gets one image up in the top left and the other image down there in the bottom right. All right. So for the top left image, I want to show this right side quote because that's my opening quote mark. So what I need to do is I need to take the X positioning of that first image. I need to keep knocking it back. And this is where I'm going to use pixels for this one. So if I change this out to, and I'll do a little trial and error here, I'll do a negative 60 pixels. Refresh. See, I'm moving it a little bit over. 
negative 100 pixels, a little more, a little, little bit too much, and this could just be the padding here. Let me change my padding out. A little more space. Okay, if I'm starting to get satisfied with this, all right, that could be all right there. I can kind of handle that one. Maybe go a little bit more bold. There we go. Now it's just changing the positioning of this lower right one. I'll start to try like 120. I'm pushing that over a little bit more. Just a little bit more. A little too much. And that looks satisfactory to me. So, so I've got these two quote marks quote marks positioned where I would like. And that seems to be working in this situation. Now if we do all this correctly, that means we shouldn't have to mess with our CSS whenever we use a block quote. So we could actually have a block quote that was really short. Let's go ahead and make this with even less text. Go ahead and do a save, browser refresh, and we have a smaller block quote or pull quote and our quote marks are still in a good location for us and of course if we had a lot of text in there oops don't want to do it that way there we go a bunch of text refresh now we got a much longer quote but still my quote marks are in the correct spot so that is that really not a lot of fancy HTML work it's all with the CSS it's having that quote mark image and then using our CSS background image background repeat background position to put the image in there twice in my example since one image had both the opening and the closing quote marks uh, keeping those backgrounds from repeating and also then placing them in a very precise location and now we have ourselves a pool quote okay have fun